on my Virgo gang 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 to the Matoki squad was up to the people that's new what's going on so glad you guys decided to hang out with me for a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and um start you guys reading let me see do I want to start you guys with an oracle Virgo or with straight tarot hmm Let's see, we'll get a couple of Oracle messages and then we'll, we'll go from there wherever Spirit leads me. Spirit guys, angels, show me what I need to see from the fantastic Virgos, okay? Virgos, so much love. Mm -hmm. You guys show me so much love. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, okay, you guys? Show me what I need to see from my Virgos. Sun, moon, rising, and ascended. This is a general read. Take what you want. Leave what you will. Beauty is formed under pressure. Though it may not feel like it now, the struggles you are facing will produce growth and beauty. If you will let it shape you. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Virgo, y'all just got this fucking bomb-ass energy, man, that be going on. So I feel like a lot of you Virgos are under pressure. I feel like it's it's um crunch time, okay? But I feel like, you know, just like this card says, the pressure is what brings the diamond, right? And that's what I feel like you guys are. You guys are diamonds in the row. And I feel like this is something you guys can, this is a, like a cycle you guys continue to evolve in. I mean, it's like, it's a no brainer for you guys. Being under pressure, um, coming out better than when you went in, right? Being secure in yourself. I love that about you guys. I feel like you, you know, if nothing else, you have yourself. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see what else comes out there. And I feel like people don't even know y'all under pressure, okay? Spirit just told me. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like even though you're under pressure, I feel like you just butterfly. You see what I'm saying? You, you've you already been through this before. See the other, the other caterpillars or whatever, they're still transforming. It seems like you're here giving them light and love or like you're giving them permission to go ahead and bloom and come out, right? But as for you, you already prepared for this long haul. You already know what this entails, Virgo. You're ready for the job. This is your life. This is the play play. Let your path be your own. See what I'm saying? These are things, there are things in life that we will not choose, but yet we still have our power in how we respond. Today, let your response be for your highest good. See what I'm saying? Virgo, you always stay in control of you. That's what I just got through saying. Your path, you're on the right path. You are on the right path. Path to what? Path to whatever that, whatever your wish is, whatever your wish fulfillment is. Path to wherever you want to be right now or wherever you want to be in the future. Spirit is giving you a miracle, Virgo, okay? Spirit is ready to ready to um add up the tab with you, okay? They're ready to pay the tab. Seek and you will find. Now is the time to ask, ask for divine guidance. There is an abundance of love waiting for you. Open up and receive this love, however it appears. Absolutely. Virgo, I just feel like y'all just got so much good shit coming in for y'all in 2021 and, and after that. And I feel like it's because y'all don't fuck with nobody. Y'all stay in y'all own lane. If y'all can help somebody, y'all will. But y'all ain't really pressuring that shit. And I feel like it ain't, I keep saying in my readings, I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with being selfish sometimes. You have to because people are draining the fucking life out of you. And really what you're doing is trying to be nourishing and help somebody. But they draining you because they're not putting anything back into you, if that makes sense. Destiny awaits is your overall energy. Okay, Virgo. It says, I have formed you with purpose. Now that there is none like you, nor will there be, take up your destiny. 
who you were made to be. Absolutely beautiful. See what I'm saying? See how these cards just work themselves out? It says, I have formed you with purpose. Know that there is none like you, nor will there be. See what I'm saying, Virgo? You you just... I mean, it, it, it's just like you royalty. Like I said before, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what other people want to hear you royalty. And spirit has just always been there for you because it's how you're built. It's something about you that makes spirit want to just keep producing miracles in your life. But I feel like to you, it's not that. I feel like to you, it's just like, it's like a system that you found in your life that works. It's like whatever it is you do, it might be different for all Virgos. I don't know what the connection is with this shit, but it's been showing up in every one of y'all reading. So it's some kind of way that y'all divinely connected to spirit that it just opens up all type of shit for you guys. Deception. See, I feel like my spirit guys are telling me this deception card is you deceiving the devil. Or like you conquering the devil, you beating the devil, you beating an ill, evil representation or a spirit or something like that. And I feel like you just don't, I feel like your human, your 3D does not recognize this energy. Almost like you a fucking um, evil slayer or like a fucking ghost slayer or something. It's like you do something in the spirit realm that other people don't do. See what I'm saying? Conchy inches. You do shit in the spirit spirit world that people don't even know fucking about. They don't even know it's something that's going on. You very conchy inches about it. See? It's something about this. It's something about you being conchy inches. Okay, thank you, spirit. What else? What else for Virgo before we get in this terror, okay? Two minutes. So there's something about this divine connection that continues to deliver you miracles. And it's because spirit formed you with a purpose, Virgo. Your purpose is higher than small, dilly dally things, you know, love. You feel like love is like will take you off of your game. You feel like it's certain things that you need to keep out of your life for you to be successful. See what I'm saying? The omens card fell out. I feel like, Virgo, you, you got a certain way about you. Take that how it resonates. You got a certain way about you. And if it don't fit, you don't want it. You reject it. If it don't fit in what you're doing, your lifestyle, how you got this shit mapped out, it don't fit. And I feel like I feel like you're so comfortable with it not fitting. If it don't fit, like that's, that's your comfort zone. Like you know if it don't fit, that's something you can deal with. Now, making it fit. And after it does fit, that's that's where your problem comes in. See what I'm saying? Your next energy out is emergence. See, what I feel like this is, I feel like this is something coming into your energy that you did not expect. It, like, pops out. This could be a new love, okay, Virgo? But I feel like whatever it is, it causes you to go into deep thought. It causes you to seek the unknown, seek and you should find in your word, okay? You're, you're trying to, it's time for you, this, this emergence of whatever it is, if, whether it's money, a job, a person, a new love, I feel like it's love. I feel like it totally takes you to a place of whatever your, your plan is, whatever you think you have, figure it out it's gonna blow it out the water it's gonna take you by storm too because you you wasn't expecting it to hit you by that see what i'm saying vulnerability this this person this is a person this is a new love this person makes you vulnerable something you hadn't been in a long time virgo this actually means you are human and you have feelings bravo virgo not that you're looking for love. I didn't say that, but this lets us know you're human. Okay, vulnerability. This person makes you very vulnerable. You're attracted to this person. You love listening to this person. You love looking at this person. You like how this person dressed. You like the answer this person has. 
to you, this is move to a fucking 911 urgency. You don't want this person to get away from you, but Virgo, I feel like you don't even know how to go about it. Because I feel like you had this so long. Your overall energy is determination. Absolutely. What Virgo wants, Virgo gets. So I feel like whatever it is you got to do to make this connection, well, you're going to do that shit because you trying to connect with this person from the, from the, from the moment this person emerged. You've been a different person. And you don't even understand. You don't know why because you feel like you had this shit mapped out already. All right. Let's see what Tara has to say, Virgo. Is this somebody from your past, though? Because it, it seems like you're de you're too determined like to not know this person. Hmm. Judgment in the King of Cups. So, I feel like you're asking yourself a lot of questions about love right now. I feel like you're very confused. I feel like this is something you don't know much about, Virgo. But I feel like it's something at this time because of the person and because of the urgency. I feel like you got to find out what it is. I feel like your emotions are going fucking crazy. You don't even know what the fuck you feel. With this King of Cups, you are all over the place. This could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. See what I'm saying? Nine of Cups. This person is your wish fulfillment. This person is what you have um, subconsciously been asking spirit for. It's here now. King of Pentacles, okay? For some of you guys, you this is somebody very wealthy, okay? For some of you guys, it's somebody very poor. We have the Five of Pentacles showing up with the Kingpin. Or maybe this is somebody who has a lot of money, but they feel left out in the cold because they have not found love until now, until they found you. So Virgo, maybe this is you, the Five of Pentacles. Maybe you are feeling left out in the cold because you. this is new to you. But I feel like this person you're in love with or you found this interesting, they're very grounded. They're very patient, okay? And I feel like they like you as much as you like them. The split deck is what? The Hierophant and the Page of Pentacles. This person gives you a ring, Virgo, or you give this person a ring, okay? You don't... I feel like this all happens so very quick. I feel like... I feel like you get this person a small ring, though, but I feel like it's not because you don't have money, but I feel like it's to see what this person will think, what this Scorpio will say, okay? Or, or maybe this is a cross watcher that I'm um, picking up on. But the person don't care about the ring. They like you. They're really interested in you, see? They're standing their ground with you, Virgo. They're showing you that they're equal parts to you, okay? They meet your fly. They can have you and not have you, but seems like you can't live without this person already, Virgo. Which is really, which is really good energy for you, because I feel like I feel like for you it's the thrill of the hunt. Because I feel like Virgos are head hunters. Wherever the money is, that's where you are. So you're natural head hunters, but not for love. But I feel like it automatically switches like that with you guys. You didn't even know that they would do that. See, yeah, the Five of Swords. I feel like this is confusing a lot of people about you, Virgo, because normally you don't date, okay? Normally you don't, you're not the chaser, okay? You're not the person trying to figure it out. They are, okay? But this time, the tables have turned. You're very interested in this person. You feel like you can't live without this person, yeah. And you're really being strong about it with the strength card coming up. This could be Leo energy as well, okay? You're really restraining yourself. Okay, you're really trying to be calm about it mentally. Meaning you want to call this person like a million times, but at the at the at the stake of saving face, you won't do it. So you have the strength to exercise control. I feel like you have a lot of patience. Yeah. That ace of wands, I feel like you want to be intimate with this person, Virgo. But I feel like this person really not into that right now. They don't know you like that. You got a decent person. They're not trying to just have sex. They want to see what this is, though. Yeah, see justice. They got to see what this goes or what this is, Virgo. Or this is you. This is you. Because you're the one so so afraid of love. Just But it makes you happy. Look at that. It makes you. This person makes you very happy. And I feel like you go for it, Virgo. Bravo. Hats off. Because all your readings have been 
me gearing and spirit gearing you towards love and now here it is a new beginning a new passionate beginning and i feel like you just i feel like this makes you well-rounded now i feel like you're just like the cream of the crop absolutely beautiful Virgo. good work good job you did the work congratulations everything you ever wished for is here now a complete circle okay of life you're absolutely in the flow now. You're right. You're right where spirit wants you to be to be blessed for these miracles to come. All right, Virgo, I'm gonna leave it right there. If you're still with me, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to my Matosi squad. Thank you guys for coming back so much to my new people here. Thanks for hanging out. If you've seen something you like, go ahead and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye bye.